I'd like to show you the speedometer, which is a device made by DRM. It's a, a very handy device to measure the speed of your model train. Initially, when we received the first ones, uh, it didn't have um, different scales for different countries. Like for example, the end gauge would be 1, 160 in, uh, in uh, Europe, whereas 1, 148 in, um, in, in the United Kingdom and 1, 150 in, um, in Japan. So we contacted the developer and he quickly changed all this, made a whole new system in it where it's just mesh, where it has now, it's now separated in uh, regions. So you choose your region and then you choose your skill and will have the right, um, you choose your cage and it has the right skill then connected to that gauge. <laughs> You can also change between miles per hour and uh, kilometers per hour and it doesn't matter then if you're using the UK you can still use kilometers per hour if that's easy for yourself. Um, so to set it up, um, it comes with four feet you can put under it here, you just click them into the holes um, and just put it on the table in front of your track and the, the point is that your model train will just drive in front of the, uh, the speedometer and there are two sensors here. It passes the first sensor, it will set the start point and pass the second sensor and then it, it, then it will actually show you the speed it would have driven at that between those uh, positions. Um, um, there's also a, a protective screen thingy here, so you just remove that, much much clearer view. Um, to set it up in uh, miles per hour or um, kilometers per hour, you should connect the USB wire. And in this case, I'm using a power bank. You can also just connect it to uh, any phone or um, iPod uh, uh, adapter. Um, so we just plug it in. This is the way you do it. You disconnect the device, hold the top button, connect it again to the power, keep holding the top button, and then you are in the speed setting mode. When you press the lower button, you confirm you want to change the speed setting. With the top button, you can change between miles per hour, kilometer per hour and the time. If you choose time, it will measure the time travel between the two sensors. Press the top button until your choice appears. Press the lower button to confirm your selection. Now it will measure in the chosen speed. Setting the region and the scale is done in the following way. Press the top button, it will ask you to set the area. Press the lower button to confirm. Now press the top button to go through the regions. Press the lower button to confirm. Then press the top button to choose the scale. Press the lower button to confirm. The device will remember this setting the next time you turn it on. Drive the train past the sensors and the speed, what it would be if it would be a real train, will be displayed. After a few seconds the display will clear and is ready for the next pass. You might find that the device seems to freeze, which is very unlikely. What it does is that the sensor is scanning something that is further away. When there is no train in front of it, it will still scan that what is further away. It will keep on waiting until the item disappears from its field of view. You can either remove the item or adjust the sensors. To adjust the sensors, unplug the device. Hold the top button then plug it in. Keep on holding the top button. When speed unit appears, click the top button again. The display will show sensor adjustment. Click on the lower button to confirm. Now when you're holding your hand in front of a sensor, OK will appear when it senses the hand. 
When the hand is out of view, the OK will disappear. When you position your hand on the position that will be the furthest the sensor will register, you can adjust the sensitivity by turning the screw. Turn to the right to decrease the reach, turn to the left to increase the reach. You can do the same thing with the right screw with the right sensor. Confirm by pressing the top button 